thanking the Lord for this day, to receive Him in this Eucharist. Let us call to our minds our failures and our shortcomings and ask Him for His mercy. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon the love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. It rises, blowing now toward the south, then toward the north. The wind turns again and again, resuming its rounds. All rivers go to the sea, yet never does the sea become full. To the place where they go, the rivers keep on going. All speech is labored. There is nothing one can say. The, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> In every age, O Lord, you have right that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In, In every age, O Lord, you have, have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Prosper the work of our hands for Be with you. you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Herod, and he kept trying to see him. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Christ, from the Herod, we have too many lessons to learn. He liked to listen to John the Baptist too, isn't it? He liked listening to John the Baptist, but even though John the Baptist admonishes him directly, he was not ready to change. The aspect of change is what is required when we, when we hear the word of God. The aspect of change. Something has to be different. Once you come in contact, see when we hear in the gospel today, Herod heard about Jesus and was sure it is not John the Baptist because he beheaded him, whom he liked to hear, and he wanted to see him, but never made an attempt to see him. There are many people who wanted to see Jesus. They made attempts. They worked hard. Uh, even Zacchaeus climbed up a Zacchaeus tree to see Jesus. Uh, putting down all his, all his uh, status as a tax collector. He had the courage to go and uh, take steps to see Jesus. And once he saw him, it changed him forever. It changed him for good. But Herod knew what he was doing was not right, and he was never was ready to change. Therefore, when we hear in the first reading that the remembrance of men do not pass on when there's something contrary to what Jesus we are witnessing. For 2,000 years now, still we remember Jesus. Maybe it was limited only to, only to men and not to God. I don't know. But the fact is, if you are able to face the change, most of us will be remembered. Because we remember all the saints for their bravery, for their witness, for their value of life. We remember them. It is different between just being what you are and trying to be the children of God. Therefore, this uh, gospel is an invitation to all of us to examine ourselves, whether we are really able to receive the message of Jesus and ready to respond to the message which might demand some changes in us so that we also will be able to be remembered in the history as Jesus was, as many of the saints were. If not, we also would remain like Herod and buried in his sin and guilt 
and uh, doomed for the life that is to come. Amen. <coughs> Confident in God's love for all of us, His children, the chosen people, let us confidently place before Him our needs and the needs of our brothers and sisters. For the leaders of Christ's church who humbly serve with wisdom and compassion, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nation torn apart by war and civil unrest who seek peaceful alternatives to violence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges, advocates, and civil servants who uphold the rights of the poor let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of this assembly who find joy in God's commandments and peace in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For the ministry of the poor to be a heaven and resources for those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local church, as we implement partners in the gospel, that we may find ways to steward our resources more effectively, caring for the planet and bringing the good news to our neighborhoods and community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of Dan Koval, and for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers enter in our book of prayer and those that are held in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, trusting in your mercy and providence, we have placed these, our prayers and petitions, Hear them and grant them through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Our offertory hymn is number 662, Loving and Forgiving. 662. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. So to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving. Are you all my being? Bless the Lord, bless the holy name of God. All my being, bless the Lord, remembering the goodness of God. Loving and forgiving are you. Loving and forgiving are you. 
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice with your hands. Your hands. For, for the praise and glory of his name. name. For our good and good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your people, that what they profess with the devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lift them them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit is for salvation through our Lord Jesus. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul H., and our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 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 and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy to share it again under my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion hymn is number 322, Look Beyond 322. Look beyond the bread you eat, see your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink, see his love poured out as blood. Give us a
Let us pray. <coughs> Graciously rise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, <coughs> through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us continue glory to the Lord by our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our sending forth hymn is number 383. <coughs> Take the word of God with you. 383. Take the word of God with you as you go. Take the seeds of God's word and make them grow. Please kneel and prepare ourselves in silence for the benediction.
Jesus, we have come to you this hour to worship you. And we believe that you are present in the blessed sacraments. We praise you, we adore you, and give you thanks for everything we have and are. Amen. Please stand and listen to the words of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Amen, amen, I say to you, Whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in a desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in reading the Psalm 86. Incline your ear, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and oppressed. Preserve my life, for I am devoted. Save your servants who trust in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, Lord. To you I call all the day. Glad the soul of your servant. Lord, you are good and forgiving, most merciful to all who call on you. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for help. On the day of my distress, I call to you, for you will answer me. None of the gods can live on you, O Lord, nor can their deeds compare to yours. All the nations you have made shall come to bow before you, Lord, and give honor to your name. For you are great and the wondrous things, and you are Lord our God. Teach me, Lord, your way that I may walk in your truth, single-hearted and revering your name. I will praise you with all my heart, glorify your name forever. Lord, my God, your mercy to me is great. You have rescued me from the deaths of Sheol. O oh God, God, the arrogant have risen, risen against me. me. The ruthless man has sought my, my life. life. To you, you may be me. But you, Lord, are compassionate and gracious God, slow to anchor, abounding in mercy and truth. Turn to me, be gracious to me, give your strength to your servants, save us out of your hand. Give me a sign of your favor, make my enemies see to their confusion, that you, Lord, help and comfort me. Please kneel. Tatum ergo sacramento.
you have given them bread from heaven. And your sweetness within it. Let us pray. O oh God, you gave us this wonderful sacrament as the memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, to do reveal the sacred mystery of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be this holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Please stand for the recessional hymn. 